welcome both of you and thank you for coming, well, thank coming you. in today. What was, the, um, what was the aim of the protest? Um, we were declaring a climate emergency. So the, the meeting itself is where um, the Treasury are there and all the kind of important men of power, um, the bankers, the investors. So we were going in there with our message, which is climate emergency. We cannot continue to keep investing in fossil fuels. We've got to look to the future um, and start acting now and invest in renewables and a green future for everybody. So, I mean, this is a big event. There's lots of very important people in this room, which is why it was a, a target for you. Um, how did you get in? Um, well, I don't really want to discuss that too much, but we managed to get in there. We were very um, dignified, we were calm, um, we were wearing the suitable attire for, for the occasion as well. So we just walked in peacefully. You, um, you say, I mean, that, that point there, uh, you went to great lengths to make sure that you didn't offend with the, with the length even of your, of your dresses. Yeah. That's correct, yes. That they were, that they were correct for an, an evening like that. Yes. What yes. sort of reaction, when, when, a, when a bunch of protesters walk into a room like that, with the Chancellor of the Exchequer, who's actually making a speech at the time, what sort of reaction did you think you were going to get? Um, we did expect a negative reaction, yeah. of course, because we were disrupting their dinner. Um, and perhaps somebody saying, oh, where, where do you think you're going? What are you doing? And maybe even standing in the way and blocking us, um, which, you know, that, that happened to Lauren. Um, yeah. What, ha what happened to you? Um, I, was, I was caught <laughs> um, going in, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't dealt with in the same way as... Uh, well, you kind of got off on your own, didn't you? So you sort of found... You were sort of separated from, from the others and that's when you sort of made your way around. What do you remember happening? Um, so I went round to the right-hand side and I was, I was stood in front of um, the table where uh, Mr Field was sat and I was filming the, the rest of the group. And I was doing that for probably about 30 seconds before I thought, oh, actually, they don't seem to be moving. I could get around now and deliver the, the alternative speech that we wanted to deliver. Mm. Right, mm. got um, And I'll, I'll go and take that to, you know, to Mr Hammond himself. And here we are. I wasn't going to read it. I didn't have the guts to do that. <laughs> um, and that's, yeah, so that's, that's... That's what you were aiming to do. Yes. But that's not what happened. No. So now, the thing is that, that with something like that, um, if you are... We are in a heightened state of security. Um, especially around politicians, high-profile mm. people. You've got the Chancellor who's making a speech and someone advances towards the stage. Mm. In many countries in the world, you'd have been shot. If you'd have had a knife, he would have been a hero and now he's suspended. How is he to know in the, in the heat of that mm -hmm. moment? Well, we made it clear as we went in that we were Greenpeace and this is a peaceful protest. We, we had the climate emergency across us. Um, and also... I was stood in front of him for quite a while and he had the opportunity then to, to speak to me or any of the people there to say, excuse me, what are you doing? Um, and I'd have explained. Um, yeah, I mean, we, I, I also, as I was being led out, shall we say, um, I was saying this is a peaceful protest. Mm. You know, peaceful, peaceful protest. And, and Greenpeace has got a reputation throughout the world for peaceful protest. I don't... And we were women in red dresses. Where are we hiding all this scary stuff? Yeah. I mean, it is possible that a, a woman in a red dress could have a knife. I mean, it, it, it's, not, it's not impossible. And Greenpeace are activists. It's not always been totally peaceful. Oh, yes, always. There's always been totally peaceful. Mm. Greenpeace has always been... That's the whole point, Greenpeace. Yeah. And we're non-violent direct action, but always non-violent. How, uh, how, how did, did he hurt you? How do you feel? Um, I received a bruise on my arm. Um, immediately after, I was very shaken. Um, as he ejected me from the building, he did give me a fair old shove. Um, and I was determined not to fall over. I thought, I'm not going to hit the deck now, <laughs> no way. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was very shaken. Um, but I've, I found the whole situation quite ridiculous as well at the time, the way he was speaking to me. And I, I, I'm quite privileged. I, I haven't received any kind of violence within my past, thank goodness. Um, so I think if I had, and I understand that a lot of women would have probably, you know found that horrendous mm. and it, it could traumatise mm. them, especially if they had had that kind of thing in the past. Well, you said you want him to have anger management. You say that you want to have a, an apology. Um, has anyone spoken to you about any of that? 
No, I've not, not had any apology. What, uh, what he said, in the confusion, many guests felt threatened and when one protester rushed past me towards the top table, I instinctively reacted. There was no security presence and I was generally worried that she might have been armed. As a result, I grasped the intruder firmly in order to remove her from the room as swiftly as possible. I deeply regret this episode and unreservedly apologise to the lady concerned for grabbing her. But in the current climate, I felt the need to act decisively to close down the threat to the safety of, of those present. He's been suspended. Would you like him to lose his job? Um... I'd just leave that up to the to the government to decide. Um, you know, he 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 is a he's representing us as you know. This he's is a this is he, yeah. He's a public figure, um, and I'd like public figures to actually look after us and to. He he actually you know. last month uh, he gave a speech centred around the rights of women to be safe from harm. So he's actually you've got mm. someone suspended who is actually one of your backers. It's it's quite. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we'll, I think we'll just leave that up to the government to decide. I, I, I wouldn't want this to turn into a mudslinging match. We were there because, I mean, this is, this is a passion of, yeah. of ours. I've been doing this for, like, 22 years. And, and a very, anything, very yes. important topic yeah, and it of really conversation is. as well. Yeah, so. um, thank you very much for coming in thank today. You thank you. Thank, thank you for inviting us. No worries at all.